beautiful Librans, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your monthly reading for February 2023. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are turning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details, I will never ask for personal details, and I will also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Librans, this is your monthly reading for February. Now, of course, February is considered the month of love just because we have Valentine's Day there, even though we should all try to lead with love every day, month of the year. But Venus is in the most romantic sign, Pisces. So there is a wonderful link between Neptune and Pisces this month. However, this connection can influence us all into the realm of fantasy. So it is important to be clear with what you want, be honest with yourself, and if you're connected in terms of love to someone who is not emotionally or physically available, or you are interested um, in a goal or a dream that you feel cannot be completely realized at this time, it can still be accomplished, but it's important to be grounded in a goal, okay, uh, by planning making a, a plan or strategy to get to where you want to go. Now, if you are interested in someone who is not available, this month may see you uh, feel a little bit let down by this person or feel unfulfilled by their behavior or the connection itself. Now, of course, Pisces is not all about romance. Um, it is about attracting your heart's desire, okay? It is being in the flow and aspiring to all the things that you want to make a reality. So this is a perfect time to make those dreams come true, but again, it must be based on a plan or uh, you being straight with yourself so that you can strategize to make things happen. Now, this period also promotes self-love and body positive affirmations. So it's time to really look in that mirror, see yourself, Okay, they do want this one. It was a flipper, it flipped to my hand. I just wanted to make sure that they wanted that for you. Um, yeah, so it's time to really look in that mirror and see your wonderful, unique, authentic, lovable you, and you are a force to be reckoned with, okay? So that person is staring back at you. You can accomplish whatever it is you set out to do. Now we do have a full moon in Leo, and that occurs on the 5th of February, and this is all about the self, building confidence, letting go of any restrictions, and shining that inner light, okay? You are unstoppable during this energy and as we move into the 18th you will feel the influence of that new moon that will occur on the 20th uh, that new moon is in Pisces which allows yourself to dream of infinite possibilities for your future visualize all that you desire and uh, take steps necessary steps to making things happen okay uh, now you are in a very strong law of attraction energy uh, of course February because Valentine's Day is there some of you may be you know thinking about all that can possibly be in the realms of love whether you're single looking for love or whether you are in a committed relationship but others will be focused more on the things that you're attracting at this time now in particular your 11th house of hopes and wishes is connected right at the beginning of the month okay and that's all about good karma being delivered to you this month um, and anything that you truly desire uh, thoughts are becoming things now this house also influences networking so a lot of you may be meeting new people or trying to get yourself out there to connect to a hobby or something new that you're learning <clears throat> excuse me uh, it can also be that you are 
going to have a lot of invitations this month, perhaps a little bit more than usual. So look out for that as well. Uh, now, if you are in a business or you're trying to uh, set up some sort of partnership um, in business, I feel like this will be a very interesting time for you to work with others. Um, you'll be connecting to friends a little bit more, but ultimately you will be getting what you wish for. Your sixth house is also activated at this time. Around about mid-month, the sixth house kicks in, and that's all about your daily routines. It may seem a little bit humdrum, or you may see, seem it's a little bit dull at the end of the month, shall we say, but you know, those routines are important. We need structure, uh, we need to formulate a plan, and it helps us accomplish whatever it is we set out to do, because it's all about consistency. So you may be tweaking schedules just to make sure that you have a little bit more time for you. You'll be focusing on um, building strategies for your health, uh, to pay bills, uh, you know, also you'll be looking at your duties, and all that you need to do to make your life be the best version of it that it can be okay now thanks so much for it husband angels can you please guide my beautiful libra a lot of you because we've got the ten of pentacles there some of you are going to be focused on uh, the home space your family unit the responsibilities that you have in the family unit and a lot of you may be thinking about transforming your finances this month as well um, we do have the temperance card there five of swords and we've got the emperor so i mean you've got the two of cups here as well so if you are looking for a new love relationship this month is a very very positive month to attract someone into your energetic sphere and if you and your person if you have someone already if there's been a little bit of conflict there you both get to resolve an issue uh, some of you may be thinking about moving or relocating and you will make that decision together okay ultimately though it is a very positive month for you my beautiful Librans and and if you've been feeling a little bit stagnant or things have just been feeling a little bit repetitive or you've been feeling a little bit low energy, this energy is going to change. Things will pick up pace. I definitely see you being very productive. There's something here that you love doing and you will attract a lot of attention uh, with that. It could be attention financially or it could be attention within your workspace or if you work for yourself, uh, you're a business person, I feel there's definitely a, an opportunity for you to elevate in your career. For those of you who work in a company, there may be even an opportunity to step into a leadership position or um, you know, boss up in some way. There's definitely an energy of um, leveling up. If you're retired, I really get a sense of you building your soul tribe, really figuring out where it is you feel that you belong in the world and looking at how you can spend your money effectively whilst at the same time saving just in case and really looking or focusing on your pensions or 401ks just to make sure that you're in a really good position uh, to either buy property or you know maybe travel or do something that will really enhance your life experience and uh, deepen your connection as well with source. I feel uh, a lot of you will be connecting to faith and personal development this month as well. Now, the first chord you got here is the trumpet. So you're making some noise, and this is about something that you want to accomplish. As you can see, this figure here is sitting in a seat, which means you are actually acting from a very stable and secure position. You may have been worried about your position, you may have felt that uh, things are a little bit stuck in a rut, or you may be even looking at the world like economics, um, to see the fluctuations that will be going on around the world. A lot of you may be looking at the way that the world is headed at the moment because Libra, you are very social conscious, you are very um, intelligent, you're very intuitive and instinctive and you notice what is going on in the world and you just want what is best, what is right for the world as well. So a lot of you may be weighing up your options and seeing what you feel is to come in the future and based on those calculations you may be trying to put yourself in a very financially secure position especially since you've got a ten of pentacles there a lot of you may be looking at um you know okay this is interesting that's coming through i, I don't know why it's coming through but i have to address it um, i'm not really one to go into the conspiracy theory realm or i don't like to talk about things that i don't know about or haven't got facts about because i'm a scorpio i like it to be like on the nose right uh, but this is coming through so i have to mention it to you so a lot of you may be looking at especially since we've got the emperor here you may be looking at establishments or policies that we are being told out in the open uh, to people in society, for example, about economic downturns. So, for example, you know, some establishments may be saying that uh, you know we're approaching 
a recession uh, when actually we're already in a recession and things are going to get a little bit more bumpy. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel the energy is going to get a little bit more difficult and you may already instinctively feel this and be naturally like uh, tightening the purse strings, cutting back on excess and trying to make sure that you're in a really good secure position. So even though, uh, you know, certain perhaps world leaders are telling uh, society that, you know what, everything's okay, underneath there seems to be this like false bottom, like things, it's not that I feel like there's a collapse, I mean, economically there's a lot of fluctuations at the moment, but I feel you're preparing yourself for that eventuality. Now, I do see that you're putting yourself in a really good position, okay? So, and some of you may even be looking at online videos, getting advice, or looking at where you house your finances so that you protect what you've already worked for. For example, if you've got money in two different establishments and they're connected, because they're actually giving me the word right now, connected, then it's important to realize that you are only secure for one of those deposits in that um, establishment and the other one, uh, should there be any economic fluctuations, uh, you, you know, you are not insured for the other um, establishment. Okay. So that's coming through. That's coming through a lot for a lot of signs. And um, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. I'm going to move on from there, but we do have victory, resurrection, awakening, decisiveness, inner calling and forgiveness. So this is a time of really uh, focusing on your goals and your dreams and really accomplishing whatever it is you set out to do. I always say success looks differently for everybody because everybody has different needs at different parts of their journey in life. And some of you, for example, um, you know, there may be something big that you're trying to accomplish right now and you've been doing everything you can to make it happen, but there's like a lull in the energy where you're like, oh, you know what, I just can't, I'm exhausted. I just fed up with this. So for example, if you are, you know, um, looking to retire and you're thinking, okay, you're coming up to pension age, but you're like, oh, the state of the economics right now, maybe I can't retire just yet. I'm just gonna move my date a little bit more forward so I can build my finances a little bit more. Some of you may be thinking about buying real estate, but the properties are so high right now and the interest rates are so high and you've been looking everywhere and just when you find a place that you really like, you know, you may think it's a little bit out of your price bracket and you're just you know, waiting for that moment for things to dip. Now, I do feel things will dip briefly before they rise again, okay? I am feeling that fluctuation. Uh, so look out for that. There will be a window of opportunity if you're trying to buy real estate or if you're trying to um, relocate somewhere um, as well. Now, this is also about standing in your power and acknowledging that you are successful. Celebrate your wins because as soon as you accomplish something, you tend to be onto the next project and then on to the next and on to the next. They want you to sit back and revel in your glory. Have confidence in the steps that you're taking and know that you are going to accomplish whatever it is you set out to do. I definitely feel that there's some sort of recognition this month for you. It could be an award, could be a tap on the shoulder from your boss to say, job well done. It could even be a raise or some sort of promotion that comes in here for you. Even though things are a little bit economically uncertain, I do feel like you are someone who is respected by those around you. And I feel there is an opportunity um, that will kind of like highlight how people feel around you, okay? Now also, um, they're actually showing me in the uh, water right now an airplane, and I can feel like, and hear like the engines of this airplane. And um, so some of you maybe think about traveling, or some of you uh, may be, thinking about relocating or emigrating. Uh, so an airplane, I mean, it's like a low lying airplane that they're showing me. Some of you may even like at some point this month think, wow, that airplane is really low in the sky. Um, it's really loud. So look out for that. It could be a sign of something changing that will be victorious, okay? The trumpet tends to be uh, about success. Some of you are going to get second wind on a project or an opportunity. Uh, it feels like something is coming back around again. And some of you may actually connect to a hobby or something that you used to do that you really loved. You're going to reconnect to that part of you and rediscover that part of you that you feel that you lost at some point. Um, and it's going to be very enjoyable, okay? Uh, this is definitely going to be a month where you connect to your inner calling, your true north, and know that you are on the right path. It is a month of action, okay? Everything is going 
going to slot into place for you, but there's something you've been manifesting. Uh, there is a frequency that you are matching in February that will make things happen for you, okay? Uh, things will be delivered. Now, we do have the stork here, okay? I just wanted to explain to you uh, as well, I'm in a different room. Uh, I'm just down the hall from my usual room. Uh, outside, you can probably hear that there is major works going on, um, and it's just across the, the street from where I'm at. So it's so noisy, I couldn't do a reading for you. So I've taken it down to my back room. So the sound in here may be a little bit echoey. Please bear with me, I do have a new microphone coming on in. So in the next week or so, things should be a little bit more um, clear on the microphone, okay? Uh, we do have stork for you as well. So after a long period of stagnation or feeling maybe even a little bit dissatisfied with the way things have been going, suddenly there's movement. Suddenly you're headed in the right direction. There are positive improvements in your life, okay? A lot of you may be thinking about the home space as well, where you feel like you belong and doing a little bit of decluttering this month and cleaning, making sure everything's organized. And um, I feel like it's, you know, um, this sense of really, it's almost like a spring clean or an early spring clean that I feel that you may be making. It says improvements, change, birth, renewal, newness, pregnancy, transition. I mean, some of you may hear about a pregnancy. I'm not picking up that strongly in your reading, but there may be a couple of percentage of you, maybe even 5% of you that will hear about a pregnancy. Maybe some of you will find out that you are pregnant. Um, so uh, if that's you, congratulations, of course. Um, but we've got here, um, there's this energy twice of resurrection or rebirth, okay? Renewal in energy. So if you've been feeling a little bit lackluster or you've been feeling a bit low vibe energy, then things are about to pick up pace and you're going to be inspired this month. I really feel like you're gonna be busy doing. There's gonna be a lot of product you know, productivity going on here. You're going to be very productive, um, very creative this month as well. Lots of new ideas and really focusing on the task at hand and getting the job done. So give me the word accomplishment, okay? Now, your protagonist energy is the lover's card and at grassroots, this is a card of duality. So a lot of you may be spreading yourself a little bit thin this month, really focusing on a lot of things, but also this card really means about being in your heart space and attracting what you truly desire. So this is a card, it's almost like a contract that you have with the universe where you've decided something that you love, could be a job opportunity, could be a home, could be a person. Whatever it is, you are attracting that person deeper into your energetic sphere. And as you can see with the sun card, it makes you super happy. This is gonna be a very positive month for you. I mean, it's not without its little bumps. We've got a five of swords here, so there is a little bit of anxiety or mental conflict, perhaps about a decision that you need to make, um, but you will uh, stand in your power and you will find clarity and make the right decision for you. The lover's card, of course, does connect to choice used to be called a choice card. So a lot of you may have to make a major decision in your life this month, and you're trying to weigh up a personal decision and see what path you want to take. Really examine the motives behind each decision and stay to your values uh, when contemplating which path to take. I really feel that the right situation will appear for you, the right person will appear, um, and some of you may be thinking about setting up a second stream of income or a job that you do on the side. It will actually become your main job eventually. It may start off small and steady, but actually it will be something that's very, very successful. You will be an entrepreneur, you'll run your own business, and it will be very financially lucrative. When we've got the Ten of Pentacles here as well, this can be that you're trying to attract more money at this time. So a lot of you may be trying to do lots of uh, financial affirmations. Um, you may be trying to um, brainstorm different ideas that will bring more streams of income into your world and even try to create some sort of, um, you know, generational wealth for the long term by you know, being very financially savvy. Some of you may even reach out to an advisor or someone who is um, you know, knowledgeable in that area. Uh, a lot of you may even look at videos online of how to set up uh, businesses or how to be really tax efficient in your dealings. Um, I mean, this is kind of tax, I mean, I'm doing this reading in January, so uh, a lot of you may be focused on tax related issues. And the Ten of Pentacles is a card of really investing in yourself investing in your future and attracting more affluence, okay? Now with the Ten of Pentacles in this position as well, some of you uh, may be thinking about setting up a family business or do, doing a business from home, okay? Uh, you may be using your creativity 
in order to do something that you love and that you're very talented at, but perhaps you haven't had an opportunity to fulfill or create uh, in the past. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is, you know, the effort that you put in, they're showing me that you actually, as soon as you love something, you put all of your heart and your soul. You'll be pouring that heart and soul into any projects that you've got. Um, a lot of you who are, uh, of course, retiring or thinking about retiring or already t retired, you'll be looking at your pensions with a Ten of Pentacles and the Lover's Card. Some of you may have, uh, you know, joint finances coming in from pensions and things like that. And, you know, because we have the Temperance card, this is about moderation, spending in moderation. So a lot of you will be very, um, you know, self-sufficient, but also really clever at moving your money around to make it work. Some of you may be transferring money from one account to another just to make sure that bills are paid on time. Um, but I feel everything is slotting into place and it all stems right from the heart place, okay? The Temperance card is really about all the pieces of the puzzle coming together to create the whole picture. So I feel everything is starting to work for you, even after a period of things not working and you feeling a little bit dissatisfied or um, disappointed with the way things have been going. A temperance card also is a card of patience and you've been diligently working towards something, um, really putting a lot of your uh, willpower and um, determination, dedication to make progress in a certain area. Uh, with the temperance card, you may feel that perhaps there's been something missing or, I mean, it could be even financially related. Uh, you may be trying to set up something that you want to make a reality, but all the pieces are not available to you at this time. Have faith. Those pieces will arrive in terms of information. I mean, you may open your YouTube channel, for example, or your YouTube and just suddenly a video of knowledge that you need to see pops up for you. So uh, I feel that knowledge and wisdom can occur in the most um, interesting of places. Uh, we do have the full card. It's in the resistance position, which is like there's something in the pack. I mean, it's in the, uh, the reversal energy. So there could be something that you wanted to launch in the past, but you felt it was not the right time. Uh, at the end of February, this is going to be something that you will make happen. Okay. Uh, the full card is about uh, taking a leap of faith or, um, you know, starting a new beginning, but because you've got a 10 of pentacles in the protagonist energy, it does mean it can be a welcome new addition to your life. And that's why I pick up this second stream of income or passive income. Some of you, even if you are retired, you know, your pensions will be taken over, but you may also have real estate that you've invested in, in your lifetime that will also bring in a like little nest egg for you as well. And if you are not retired and you're working really hard, this could be some of you launching something that perhaps you've had on the back burner for a while. And with the Two of Cups here and the Five of Swords, you may be overthinking this a little bit. You may, there may be a little bit of perfectionism. You just want it to be, you know, perfect. Nothing will ever be perfect because if we are uh, feeling a little bit of doubt, we'll always delay it, you know? They always say, you'll do it or you'll find an excuse. Don't let that little inner voice, which tends to be the ego, which, as soon as the ego sees you about to fly, about to rise and be very successful, sometimes it creeps in and whispers, but what if it fails? Don't listen to that voice, okay? Um, just jump in, take that leap of faith. And as you can see, there's so much success here. You've got the Sun card, you've got the Emperor, and you've got the King of Wands. Anything that you are taking action on, that you're launching, you know, um, you will influence your circumstances and your plans will be successful. Okay, with the full card also, you may have felt that you've been working super hard, burning the candle at both ends, and you may feel that um, you haven't been going out and having fun recently. So February is also a time to find balance, to kick back, relax, really connect to that inner child, go out and have fun at some uh, point in your month. It's really important, of course, you've got your sixth house, which is all about responsibility. So a lot of you may feel that you have some tasks to complete before you actually can kick back, relax. I do feel also that you're um, not spending as much as uh, you know usual. So I feel you're gonna be doing a lot of saving this month. You can have a lot of fun for free. Uh, so I do feel that um, you will be able to connect to that revelry being in good company with good people. Now, also with the full card, I really get a sense of anything is possible. Uh, there could be a new relationship here. Uh, it could be um, because we've also got the Two of Cups. So if you've been 
wondering if love is ever going to show up for you, that you've been working really hard and you feel like everything's kind of, you know, slotting into place for you, but still you have not realized a romantic dream or a relationship. Um, there is romance on the horizon. We have a two of cups here, but you may have been going through a separation or you may be influenced from a past situation that has made you feel uh, a little bit guarded with regards to love, or you may have even taken yourself out of the dating pool for a long time to focus on your finances, to get financially secure before you open yourself up to a, a union or an attraction. Uh, this is all about to change, so I feel there is going to be a budding romance uh, on the cards for you um, in the next uh, couple of weeks. So I feel uh, a lot of you will be getting RSVPs or invitations to be out with friends, or even some of you may, um, I mean, it says here, look, new beginnings, optimism, trust in life. Life is working for you. It's not working against you. Sometimes when there is resistance, it's the universe asking you to question your motives and make sure you really want what you're asking for. But also it's a, a moment to pause because um, we need to feel if it really connects with our true north and our true path. Like many, many years ago, this is coming up right now, I don't like to talk about me. There shouldn't be any me in the reading, and this is all about you, but they are showing me something to do with me. When I was younger, many, many years ago, I wanted to be a certain thing in life, right? And I was obsessive about that. I'm a Scorpio. I keep my eye on the prize. I never give up, okay? And it was a battle, and I kept pushing past every... Um, you know, time I failed, well, I always believe there's no such thing as failure, only a learning curve of how to do things differently or how to grow from the situation. So I kept getting setback after setback after setback after setback, and I thought, oh my gosh, is the universe trying to let me, you know, trying to let me down gently and say, you know what, this path is not for you. Why do you keep pursuing this thing that hurts you so much every time it doesn't work out for you? So I took a step back. And I said to the universe, okay, I get the message. I surrender. I won't force it. I'm going to just let things be as they are meant to be. And my guides were like, what is meant for you will never pass you by. So just relax, breathe, okay? I kid you not, as soon as I took a step back and surrendered, within about six months, all the things that I had been working for for years started to attract to me because I changed my frequency. When you're pursuing something with such obsession, you're telling the universe that you're desperate for it. And that is a different frequency than trusting in the universe for it to show up. Allow it to breathe. Tell the universe what you want. Visualize it like you got it and then relax and watch all the variables slot into place and start to move closer to you, okay? Uh, because you're in a different frequency. The same with love. Okay, Two of Cups, they always say you find love when you're not looking for it. And the Two of Cups indicates it's in the resistance position. There's something you're trying to attract at this time or trying to understand why it has not shown up for you. So a lot of you uh, may look at relationships, for example, and think, okay, why is a loving relationship not showing up for me right now? I'm a lovable person. I'm a good person. I'm honest. I'm open. And, you know, I, I have a lot of love to give. But you have to look at yourself and see, are you an overgiver? Are you someone who invests a lot in a relationship, which is wonderful, but do you give too much so you don't allow the other person to come to you and show you? If you're someone who finds it very difficult to accept compliments, for example, um, and I'm not pointing a finger at you, my beautiful Librans, I used to be like this myself as well until I learned to value myself. My time, my love, myself is valuable just as much as the next person. So um, it's important to realize that when you realize bad behavior will not be acceptable and if you tend to be a person who gives people always the benefit of the doubt and you're the one who ends up out of whack because of it, um, it's important to realize you need to change the frequency and then you attract what you truly deserve and desire at that time, okay? There may be a reason why love is not showing up for you at this time and it can be down to something as simple but not really simple as self-love, especially if you've had traumatic experiences in your life or you've walked a journey that has been very painful, it can mean that you're in a frequency of mistrust when it comes to love based on previous experiences. So you're healing and then you will resolve those issues 
issues and you'll attract the love that is meant for you. I really feel like you're on the precipice of change and you are attracting a love that you truly deserve and desire at this time as well, okay? For those of you who are in a relationship, I feel some of you will settle down with this person. If you're not settled with this person already, you may move in with this person in the month of February. There's a wonderful new start for you and your person, okay? So if you've just been casually dating somebody, you may put a label on it this month um, as something that is serious, okay? Um, after a period of uh, feeling a little bit like, um, if, if you're in a couple and there's been a little bit of um, worry or there's been a little bit of drama going on there, I do feel this is the month where things get resolved and um, I feel both of you respect each other's opinions and position and you move forward as a unit, okay? Also the Two of Cups, this is a card of reciprocity, okay? Um, so some of you will be looking at balance and uh, you know, reciprocity in your life in all areas. If you feel like you've been giving a lot of yourself to your work, but you feel like you're not fairly financially recompensed for the absolute beautiful work that you do, then it's time to readdress the balance and to look at other areas where you can give and feel that you are um, reciprocated, that you're given a wage that reflects the talent that you have. So if you feel that's not happening at this time, with the full card, a lot of you may jump into a new position. You may actually decide to leave where you're at and move into a uh, either a new job, a new sector, even a promotion raise because I feel like there's some sort of offering coming your way in the month of February that you're going to be really excited about. Now the Five of Swords, okay, Five of Swords is an interesting one because when you get the Five of Swords, okay, I'm touching this Five of Swords and then give me a song. One moment please. Okay, this song has definitely come up before. Um, they're only giving me one line of it, um, and it's don't go chasing waterfalls. You know, it's don't go chasing waterfalls. I think the next part of the song is like stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to, but they're only giving me that one sentence, don't go chasing waterfalls. And because we've got the five of swords here, well, I feel, I mean, it could be, this song may be something that will be important because you hear it on the radio or you hear it um, as you're walking down the sidewalk or in the mall or on your shuffle, it comes up uh, just randomly. Uh, this is an indication that, I, I really feel it's like don't chase intangible dreams. Everything is possible. The full card tells you everything is possible. Just make sure you've got a plan because you've got the sun and the emperor. It's like, see the vision, hold it true. Everything can happen, but you need a plan or you need to strategize and you need to take steps to make it happen. There has to be action. But if you're sitting in the dame dream energy, because remember Neptune and Pisces can make us all feel a little bit dreamy. And it's interesting because everything that happens, it starts with a visualization first. It starts with a dream. It starts with a vision that is in the headspace. Um, and then you take action to make it happen. So maybe it's like, yeah, make sure you've got a, a plan that's grounded or rooted in um, reality. Also, it can mean watch out for self-destructive patterns or time to break old habits. Uh, if you're someone who uh, overthinks, for example, um, overthinks in a relationship, or if you're offered a contract this month uh, regarding a job opportunity or something long-term, because Two of Cups with the Lover's Card is about longevity, okay? It is things that you connect to for the long term. So it doesn't have to be about love. It can be about a contract or investing in a property, a home, a mortgage, um, you know, things like that that you're going to connect to long term. And it may make you feel a little bit of anxiety. Take some time out, really clear your mind, ask your inner guides, ask your inner self, is this what I want? That's why the temperance card is there to have patience. Don't rush into anything. And if the answer is still yes, after you've slept on it and meditated on it, then it's meant for you, okay? And it will go in your favor. It will be successful. So don't sweat the small stuff. Uh, Five of Swords also is a card of brainstorming, lots of different ideas. It's gonna be one that really hooks you in. Uh, by the way, I think that song is by TLC, which may also mean this is a month for kicking back, relax, relaxing and you know uh, implementing self-care routines so watch out for that as well um, now as you can see with the five of swords 
there's two boats there, so there's two journeys. So there may be two options that you have to uh, really look at. So big choices this month, uh, especially with the lover's card, but you will make a, a definitive decision and it will be the right one. So really connect to your instincts. Uh, they're actually showing me um, two things. One is don't spread yourself too thin, okay? Because you'll need the energy in order to um, be very productive this month. Make sure you get good sleeping patterns, exercise routines, and, and good food and vitamins. Um, invest heavily in yourself this month because I really feel like you're attracting a lot. Attracting love, uh, you're attracting opportunity, and with the Sun card, success, okay? This is a card of abundance. It says success, happiness, all will be well. So whatever it is you're worrying about, take a breath. Take a moment, ask yourself, will this matter in five years time? If the answer is no, then let it go and breathe because whatever is meant for you will not pass you by, okay? The Sun card also indicates a, a, a month of growth, a month of energy where you have that boost of vitality to make things happen. The Sun card also is an energy of being honest with yourself, seeing things in clarity. Things are starting to heat up and I feel like you become aware of the path that you're on and the magic that you're making because you are the one who is creating your destiny. You are the master creator, okay? But the Sun card also indicates that relationships start to flourish, um, things that you truly desire are starting to uh, happen for you, and there's going to be a joyous outcome, okay? This is a time for success. And if there's anything that's been leading you towards confusion or you felt a little bit uncertain about things or your path, you've got the stork there, you know, there is a reason for the pause. Then suddenly there is action and things start to improve for you. We have the emperor, okay? Now the emperor, of course, is about being in a very secure position, mastering your craft. A lot of you will step into a leadership position or you'll set up your own company or you'll be in the flow of leading the path that you or the life that you truly desire. This is a card, again, that goes with the sun card of success, empowerment, and um, guidance as well. I mean, some of you may set up a a new business where you help people um, through peace of mind. You may become a counselor or you may uh, step into like psychology or something to do with the mind because I feel like you're really fascinated about the mind and the way that the human psyche works. Uh, it could also be that you're helping people through things like yoga or Pilates or you know being a personal trainer or you know a dietitian. I really get this energy that whatever it is you do actually benefits other people. And if you're retired, some of you may be thinking about the difficult journey that you've had, the experiences that you've had, and turning those um, almost like plot points in your life into perhaps a book or a screenplay or a blog or something where you actually help other people. Some of you may even set up, and this came up in a reading last week, some of you may even set up, um, if you are retired or thinking of retiring, you may even set up a channel online of you know your adventure into retirement and the pitfalls that people can avoid um, and things that can help others transition to a very rewarding stage of life where this is your time to play, okay? So uh, the Emperor card with the Fool card does remind us all not to be too serious about what life throws at us, okay? Uh, in the history of the Emperor card, there used to be a fool popping behind the throne. It was always a reminder that life can be full of responsibilities and ups and downs, but we must remind ourselves that we can also have fun and that um, not to take ourselves too seriously as well. Uh, we do have the King of Wands, which is a card of passion being your power this month and confidently attracting a lot of success and influencing your circumstances. So two cards of motivation here, being bold to go after your goals, your dreams, making things happen, being secure in your position. Whenever you get a king of wands, there's normally like a salamander or a gecko in the cards, which indicates that you are protected and redirected to what is meant for you, okay? So um, it's really important card to remind you that um, your mastery or whatever it is you do that you're so good at, um, it will benefit you and others at this time. Be confident in your vision and don't become too rigid or closed off to new ideas uh, because these new ideas are being given to you for a reason. I definitely see lots of improvements. There is something you may have to make a decision on that's huge this month. I mean, some of you, it may be in terms of real estate, there may be two properties that perhaps you're thinking about uh, buying. Uh, one obviously will be over the other. Um, you have to decide which is right for you and your heart space. Some of you 
Um, you may uh, be thinking of selling as well. There may be two sellers that you perhaps uh, give you the same offer and you have to choose between one of them if they s remain stagnant at a certain offer. Um, and some of you, um, I really get this energy of you um, really trying to not give your power away. If you feel that people have been undervaluing you or um, you feel that you have been giving your power away in situations, I really feel February is the month where everything gets collaborated um, and balanced out and people respect the position that you're in. Um, also, I feel there's some really good news coming your way and you will tell people about this. This is, uh, you will reveal your good news to those who are closest to you. You're actually showing me an image of a lion with a crown on it. Really interesting. A lion with a crown on it. I mean, you've got the emperor that's wearing a crown. A uh, lion with a crown on it. Um, so, now, the lion with the crown on it, spiritually, it could be about downloading wisdom. The crown chakra is all about wisdom. It could be about leadership, of course. You've got a lot of leadership cards. Some of you may be taking the lead in a project um, or a DIY project, something in the home space because the Ten of Pentacles is all about where you feel like you belong. Um, but there's definitely power and dominance in your reading. And you can lead with a gentle hand also. It doesn't always have to be this like powerful, you know, explosion of energy. You're gently moving towards your goal. It's happening for you, okay? Um, now also the, the lion with a crown on it may be a symbol that you will see over the next six weeks that will indicate that there is some good news headed your way regarding something that you're trying to accomplish. Smile, breathe, and be proud of yourself. You're doing a really good job. Now we've also got the shell. So it says here, hidden, aloof, deserted. Certain matters in the situation are not being communicated. So a lot of you may go into your shell, become a little bit in hermit mode, where you're trying to focus on something that's important, where you need to make a decision, okay? But don't close yourself off too much. It's important to get out there and use your intuition or get out there and connect to friends, okay? Um, you know, I feel like because your 11th house is influencing you at this time as well, you may have a bit of a push and pull where you want to go out with friends, but you know you need to feel responsible and sort out things first before you get out there. Um, also, we've got reconciliation here, reunion with someone from your past, union, merging, repair. So we do have a two of cups here and a five of swords. You may have been arguing with someone that you love. It doesn't have to be an ex, but it could be someone that you really care about. There is a reconciliation on the cards here. Some of you may also have someone from your past because we have Valentine's Day. They could be thinking about you and they want to repair a relationship with you. Most importantly, think about how that person left the situation and how if you really want to resolve it, that you both need to be your wonderful authentic selves and have an honest, open conversation and take accountability for the actions that were taken in the past. If that is not a, an option, it's really important for you to realize uh, that uh, perhaps this person no longer deserves a, a, a place in your life, okay? But if you want to reconcile with someone, there is the potential to do so, okay? Now, I will leave that there. I'm just gonna go and get uh, trinket before I go. Um, we have an angel wing. Now, if you do have placements in Sagittarius, um, Sagittarius got angel wings as a sign. So there may be something in that reading for you. Of course, if you, you don't have placements in Sagittarius, then you know leave that reading all alone. Um, so lots of um, indications here that your guides are walking with you this month and they're trying to bring you towards something that you've desired for a long time. Angel wings tend to be about protection, okay? So I feel like you're protected at this time. Also, we've got the um, mermaid and she's turning her back on both sides. So that's really about turning your back on anything that's not emotionally rewarding. And you know, it's also about, some of you may feel going off grid for a little bit in order to really look at your emotions and look at your personal development and your true calling. So you may feel that now is a time where you're like, do not disturb because you are working on something and um, you don't want to be derailed from your path. You don't want any distractions, okay? But make sure you do resurface at some point to get out there, have some fresh air, connect with nature and have fun with friends, okay? Or those that you care about. So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in that reading for you, my beautiful Librans. If it does, please like and subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Also, you may have heard a sound a moment ago that took my attention over this direction. 
this back room here, it has a door that sometimes has like a, a strange little latch on it. It just makes a noise occasionally. Uh, you know, it's nothing to, so if it did scare you, it's nothing to worry about. Uh, it just catches and doesn't close properly and then, you know, randomly it'll just close by itself, okay? Uh, it's only there's a mechanism in the door that's just not working. So I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, my beautiful Librans. Love and light.